احمدیت 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 زندہ آباد زندہ آباد و زندہ آباد زندہ و پائندہ آباد زندہ آباد و زندہ آباد احمدیت زندہ آباد السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہو and welcome to the MTA Jamaat News Bulletin We'll begin with the summary of Hazrat Amir al-Mu'mineen's Friday sermon that Hazur Ayyad al-Talab bin Asil Aziz delivered at Bayt al-Fatul Mosque, London on 30th December 2011. Hazur began his Friday sermon by saying that the Prophet Muhammad said that the Jamaat of Sahaba, the companions, does not just comprise the Muslims of the times of the Holy Prophet وسلم, but this also includes the companions of the Prophet Muhammad as mentioned in the Holy Quran in Surah Jummah. وَآخِرِينَ مِنْهُمْ لَمَّا يَلْحُكُوا بِهِمْ those people who saw the Prophet Messiah progressed in their faith. Each one of them is a role model for us. Hazur read out some, some of the faith-inspiring anecdotes from the lives of these companions of the Prophet Messiah from the Register Rawayat. The esteemed companions of the Prophet Messiah that Hazur mentioned in the Friday sermon were as follows. Hazrat Malvi Sufi Atta Muhammad Sahib, Hazrat Khalifa Nuruddin Jamuni Sahib, Hazrat Malvi Jalaluddin Sahib, Hazrat Sufi Ghulam Muhammad Sahib, Hazrat Sayyid Akhtaruddin Sahib, Hazrat Khairuddin Sahib, Hazrat Hafiz Nabi Bakhsh Sahib, and Hazrat Mia Muhammad Yaqub Sahib, Rizwanullah Alayhim Ajmain. Through the company of the Prophet Messiah and fervent prayers, these companions were blessed by Allah with revelations, true visions, and dreams in abundance. These companions had deep love for the Holy Quran and they made every effort towards memorizing it. They had placed their trust in Allah and Allah alone provided for their needs. Then they were very careful to narrate the sayings of the Prophet Messiah with a deep concern that they may not narrate anything which is not precise because of weak memory. These companions brought about positive changes in themselves after accepting the Imam of the age. Their love for the religion reminded of the Muslims of the earlier era of Islam. Hazrat Umar prayed that may we all make positive changes in us in his Friday sermon, Hazur also related some incidents of kindness of Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih the first, Razillah ta'ala anhu, towards the companions of the promised Messiah alayhi salam. Hazur prayed that may the new year bring immense blessings for the Jamaat. May Allah stop the hand of the enemy and they recognize the truth. May Allah every Ahmadi as an individual and as a Jamaat be blessed in abundance. At the end of his Friday sermon, Hazur gave the sad news of the demise of Jamaluddin Sahib auditor of Sadr Anjuman Ahmadiyya who passed away recently. He was very quiet by nature and loved Khilafat very dearly. Has also read, led his, uh, his funeral prayer in absentia after Jumma and Asa prayers. Dear viewers, it is imperative that we listen to Hazur's Friday sermon first hand. In our Jamaat news, we give you only a very short summary which can never be a substitute to listen to Hazur's complete Friday sermon or its full translation. MT International shows recordings of the Friday sermon a number of times in the week. MTA's YouTube channel also uploads Hazur's Friday sermon. Alislam.org also puts up a summary of Hazur's sermon in English. Now let's move on to the other Jamaat news. First, we have received a report from the Jamaat e Ahmadiyya UK of Eid celebrations and Quran exhibition in Glasgow, Scotland. Let's take a look at this report. Majlis Ansarullah Scotland organized an Eid celebration and Quran exhibition on Sunday 13th of November 2011. Various dignitaries including the Consulate General of Germany and Russia attended the program. The guests were welcomed at the gate and different leaflets were given to them on Islam and Ahmadiyyat. In the exhibition, translation of the Holy Quran in 52 languages and a copy of the Holy Quran in Braille were displayed. Mr. Wolfgang Mosinger, Consulate General of Germany, opened the exhibition. The program was presided over by Vice President of Majlis Ansarullah, UK. The program started with the recitation of the Holy Quran with translation. The welcome address was given by Regional President of Majlis Ansarullah, Scotland. The Regional President of Ahmadiyya Muslim Association, Scotland, then presented a very brief introduction of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. 
He mentioned how the message of Islam and Ahmadiyyat has reached the corners of the world. He also narrated different humanitarian works taken by the Khulafas of the Promised Messiah salam. Missionary in charge of Scotland then gave a speech where he described the philosophy of Hajj and Eid. He mentioned that the pilgrimage in Mecca is not a new thing, as it is mentioned in the Holy Quran that the first house of worship was built in Mecca. He also narrated how the Jews and Christians used to celebrate this day, and he also explained event of sacrifice made by Hazrat Ibrahim salam, Hazrat Ismail salam, and his mother Hazrat Hajra salam. Consulate General of Germany gave a speech where he thanked the Ahmadiyya community for inviting him to the program. It was followed by a speech from the Consulate General of Russia mentioning that he felt honoured to be present. He said that all major religions should respect each other. Chairman of the session remarked in his speech that the aim of the programme is to give the message of peace. He explained that Islam and the Holy Quran are for peace, which is in fact the meaning of Islam. This is what is again propagated after the advent of the promised Messiah of the latter age. He also read the message sent by the Scottish First Minister, Mr. Alex Salmond, who sent best wishes for the programme. It was followed by the gift of the Holy Quran to both consulate generals in their own languages by the missionary in charge. Mr. Bob Tomlinson gave a vote of thanks. He praised the good works done by the Ahmadiyya community. He mentioned that the community not only says love for all, hatred for none, but they also work in this way. He highlighted the importance of mutual respect and making good citizens. He finally thanked all, both guests and hosts, for the successful program. Over 100 people from different religions and faiths attended the program. The program ended with a silent prayer led by missionary in charge, followed by a delicious dinner. And now at the end we have a report from Canada. This report is of a summer school for the young Ahmadi children for their tarbiyats. By the grace of Allah this year, Ahmadiyya summer school was held for Atfal and Nasrat between the ages of 7 and 12. It was initiated under the guidance of respected Amir Sahib Jamaat Ahmadiyya Canada and support from the National Department of Taleem. The classes were held at a local high school building available during the summer. 130 students attended who were organized in five levels while 15 staff members were responsible for running of the school. The school was held daily in weekdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for a month and a half. A typical day started with recitation of the Holy Quran followed by National Anthem of Canada. Students learned the Holy Quran, Urdu reading and religious knowledge including namaz with translation, ahadith and memorization of the last 10 chapters of the Holy Quran with translation. The student also took part in several extracurricular activities including presentation on religious topics and Urdu language. A field trip to the Royal Ontario Museum was organized where students learned about several life forms. Parents were regularly updated about student performance. Mid-term and final term report cards were issued and a student graduation ceremony was held to recognize the students. Talking about the school, Principal Tahir Ahmed Sahib told us, uh, initially, I had uh, written to respected Amir Saab for his approval and also inquired uh, York Region School Board to use one of their schools for these purposes. Um, initially, I was told that it's uh, impossible this year because uh, we're very late. Uh, on the other hand, Amir Saab liked the idea and he granted his approval. And by the grace of Allah, soon after his approval, uh, things started to fall in place. And we were not only able to get the venue, but in fact handed over the keys to use any facility in the school that we like. National Secretary Taleem Canada, Dr. Ijaz Rauf Sahib, shared his observation with us. Um, we have a regular, on a regular basis Sunday school running once a month. And then we have been running in the past uh, summer camps for Qudam and Lajna for 10 days during the summer vacation. But we had nothing for the younger children and we held the summer school. Uh, this year for one month, one and a half month. MTA International Jamaat News, Masjid Baitul Islam, Toronto, Canada. Jamaat-e-Ahmadi Miami has been taking part in international book fair since 1989. 
This book fair has been an effective tool for spreading the message of Islam Ahmadiyyat in the state of Florida. This year, Jamaat e Ahmadiyya Miami had three booths. One of them was for the books in Spanish and the other two were for the English language. This year, about 2,500 people took interest in our community and asked various questions which were answered by the members of the community at the stall. Dear viewers, we're always waiting for your feedback on jamaatnews at mta.tv. That's all we have time for today. Until our next Jamaat News Bulletin, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.